Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Giant of Castelnau In 1890, a French anthropologist by the name of Georges Vachet de la Pouche discovered three mysterious bone fragments. He discovered the trio of bones in the dirt at a Bronze Age burial mound in France. Georges believed the bones dated back to the Neolithic period. He also claimed the bones were from one of the largest human beings that ever existed. His estimates placed the human at 11 feet 6 inches. In the 19th century, his findings were published in the scientific journal La Nature. The journal included photo engravings of several bones. Georges wrote that the bones were undeniably human, even though they were of an enormous size. They were passed along to the University of Montpellier and examined by scientists there who agreed the bones were from an extremely tall person. Professor of Pathological Anatomy Dr. Paul-Louis André Kainer suggested they were from a very tall race of humans. In 1994, more gigantic bones were allegedly discovered at another prehistoric cemetery in Montpellier, France. A skull was found while workers were digging a waterworks reservoir. The skull was said to belong to someone who may have stood 15 feet tall. What's really extraordinary about the story is that it ends there. There's no mention anywhere in any other history books about the gigantic bones. They just seem to have vanished after being picked over by scientists in France. Nobody knows where they went or where they are now. It could have been a hoax. Or the bones could have been sealed away somewhere. Many believe there are organizations who have purposely suppressed any discovery relating to giant humans. What do you think happened to these giant bones? Let me know in the comments. Number 9. Jade Burial Suits At the Hebei Museum in China, there is an immaculately preserved suit made entirely of jade. It was made by hand, piece by piece, stitched together to preserve the remains of princes and royalty. Jade was believed to have preservative and protective qualities that would keep away bad spirits and mummify the body. Jade suits appeared sometime between 200 BC and 300 AD. The first physical examples were found in 1968 inside the tomb of Prince Liu Sheng. The prince died in 113 BC and was buried with his wife, Princess Dou Wan. They were rulers during the Han Dynasty and finding their unsealed tomb was one of the biggest archaeological wins of the 20th century in China. It was found hidden behind a wall of iron, underneath a layer of brick and stone. Inside the tomb were a pair of green suits made of over 2,000 plates of very rare jade. Gold was used to sew the plates together in the case of the prince's suit. For the princess, silver thread was used. Only a handful of other suits have been found in the years since. They were too expensive to make and could only be crafted by the most skilled jadesmiths in the world. Scientists have estimated each suit took over 10 years to finish. In 223 AD, Emperor Wen of Wei ordered all jade suits to stop being made. It was too much encouragement for tomb raiders to disturb the resting places of princes and kings. Number 8. A Mystery Pyramid Pyramids may have just been found from space. Sarah Parkhack from the University of Alabama was studying infrared images from NASA satellites when she discovered what might be unidentified pyramids. These satellite images were taken above the ancient Egyptian city of Tanis. In Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark, that's the same city where the Ark was hiding. Sarah and her team identified 17 structures in the ancient abandoned city. These structures are similar in size, shape, and orientation to other Egyptian pyramids. The problem is that these structures are mostly destroyed. These satellite images don't reveal the ruins of the pyramids, only subtle differences on the ground using light radiation. What Sarah and her team discovered are the leftover remains of pyramids that were likely destroyed centuries ago. The next step in the operation is to start digging. Two of these structures have already seen excavations and do appear to have once been pyramids. But it will take a lot of work for archaeologists to map the previously lost city and see if it really was full of these mystical structures. It could be that there are hidden burial grounds deep beneath the sand, hiding under where the pyramids once stood. And now for number 7. But first, it's shoutout time! I want to give a big thank you to Mac Pike and Kay Connor for supporting this channel. Thanks, guys! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing archaeological discoveries. Number 7. 
the House of the Chaste Lovers. At the House of the Chaste Lovers in Pompeii, a pair of male skeletons were recently discovered hidden under a pile of rubble. Archaeologists think these skeletons belong to people who were buried underneath the wall when it fell down during the earthquake. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it caused a violent shaking of the earth. The wall of the house fell over, trapping two unfortunate victims underneath a heap of stones. In all likelihood, they were then roasted alive by the intense heat of the volcano. Pompeii used to be a Roman resort city. There were ordinary people who lived here, but it was frequented by wealthy people in the empire and used as a lavish beach town. The House of the Chaste Lovers is inside a block of buildings that may have been used as expensive rental properties. The men who were crushed by the wall were in their late 50s. Scientists think they fled into the house and tried to hide inside the utility room as the volcano erupted. Then they were crushed by the falling debris. One of the men dropped his bundle of six coins, perhaps all the wealth he had to his name. Number 6. An Ancient Sword In Germany, archaeologists found a stash of grave goods inside a Celtic tomb from 2,300 years ago. It was a Celtic cremation tomb, used to hold the incinerated remains of people who lived in the 3rd century BC. Inside the grave, researchers uncovered plenty of grave goods. Two of the most exciting pieces include a gigantic pair of scissors and a sword that was folded clean in half. They also discovered a shield, a belt chain, and the head of a spear. It looks like the grave contained one man and one woman, their ashes buried together in deep pits amidst their treasures. The excavation team wasn't even looking for ancient artifacts. They were searching for explosive devices from World War II. The discovery of the grave was a complete coincidence. Archaeologist Martina Pauli with the Bavarian State Office for the Preservation of Monuments told Live Science these scissors are in excellent condition. You could still use them to do some sheep shearing or leather processing, just like the ancients used them for. The folded sword was likely used in battle. Martina says it was typical for Celtic warriors to fold their swords before putting them inside a grave. The sword would be heated, folded, and rendered unusable. This may have been to prevent people from digging up graves to get a new piece of weaponry. It's not clear who the Celtic people were who found themselves buried here. The man may have been a warrior, judging by the weapons, and the woman might have been his wife, maybe a mistress, or maybe a warrior like him. Number 5. Stone Age Blueprints Archaeologists think they may have just found the oldest known blueprints in the world. The blueprints were made by Stone Age hunters living in prehistoric Saudi Arabia. About 8,000 years ago, early hunters here used massive stone traps to capture wild animals. We call the traps desert kites because they look like kites. These huge structures worked like a funnel to force animals down a narrowing path where hunters waited to finish them off. Researchers have known about the desert kites for years, but now they have found what appear to be the blueprints of the structures. The blueprints come in the form of stone engravings. The diagrams were engraved into the side of a rock, showing a realistic and accurate plan for a massive structure. Everything points to the engravings being the blueprints used by Stone Age hunters to make sure they were building their traps properly. Remy Crassard from the French National Center for Scientific Research says the most amazing part of the discovery is the scale. The plans are perfectly accurate with their shape, symmetry, and dimensions. Up until now, nobody had any idea Stone Age humans could be so accurate. They etched a usable blueprint for a massive structure over two football fields long. There is no telling right now how this could change history. It's already changing how we understand the intelligence of Stone Age humans. They were obviously a lot smarter than anyone has given them credit for. Are you impressed? Let me know in the comments! Number 4. All Along the Watchtower The remains of a watchtower used by Roman soldiers in the 4th century AD was recently discovered in northern Switzerland. The watchtower was positioned along the Rhine River to watch for any passing ships. It was a large structure with a dense square base and walls over 3 feet thick. It has completely crumbled into nothing, so scientists can't say how tall it was. The only pieces of the tower left are some bricks and stones, and some smashed roof tiles. Researchers also found a foundation ditch that's full of grass and weeds. 
The ditch would have been more like a trench 2,400 years ago. It likely held a wooden palisade, a primitive barricade made of pointy sticks. Hans-Jörg Brehm, an archaeologist with the canton of Thurgau, said the watchtower was home to around 15 people. They may not have all been soldiers, but it's believed a few of them were. They likely lived in the tower with their families. If a ship full of enemies had been floating up the river, there wouldn't have been much they could do except light some signal fires. The signal fire would have been seen by another tower within eyesight, and they would have lit their own fire, and this would have gone on repeatedly until the right people saw the signal and knew there was trouble. Number 3. Ancient Mayan Board Games Archaeologists in Mexico have found the remains of an ancient board game played by the Maya civilization. It could be one of the oldest board games in the world, or at least in Mesoamerica. Researchers have found board games played in Egypt from 3,100 years ago. Ancient Africans played Mancala in 1400 BC. The ancient empires of India came up with chess 1500 years ago. The Maya played a popular game called Patoli using a board. It was likely played by the builders of Teotihuacan starting around 200 BC. It continued to be popular up until the arrival of the Spanish, who destroyed everything. Patoli was played by most civilizations in Mexico for the past 2,000 years. Patoli focused heavily on gambling, with players betting everything from blankets to gold, or in some more serious games, betting their families and their own freedom. Scientists don't think this was a casual game like checkers. The winner would come away with a massive wealth of offerings. The game itself was played using beans as dice, painted pebbles for pieces, and game markers. The whole point of the game was to get all your pieces from their starting squares to the other side of the board before the other player, using movements and rolls of the bean dice. You want to play a game of Patoli? Let me know in the comments! What would you risk? Number 2. The Lost Reservoir Near the city of Rosh Ha'ayin in Israel, archaeologists recently uncovered a massive water system from 2,700 years ago. The system is surrounded by wall engravings from the Iron Age. Researchers first identified the entrance to a water reservoir. Think of it like a well, a really big one that's 66 feet long and travels 13 feet beneath the surface. The well or the reservoir was built underneath an even bigger structure with walls over 160 feet long. The Israel Antiquities Authority believes, based on the size of the structure, it was an administrative site. This may have been the administration building for the entire region's water supply. But what exactly does all this mean? Gilad Itach with the IAA says the administrative center may have controlled water used by surrounding ancient farmsteads. It was a waterworks a centralized building regulated by a government body to make sure the water got to where it was going. This may not seem that exciting, but it was a big technological advancement for 700 years BC. The immense reservoir would have been used to collect and store rainwater. The water then would have been transported through channels to farms where it irrigated crops. It was early water systems like this one that helped ancient civilizations feed their people. These kinds of technology also led to more sophisticated ones like medieval sewers. Number 1. An Ancient Financial Record Archaeologists in Israel were doing an excavation in Jerusalem when they found a receipt from 2,000 years ago. The receipt was carved into a huge piece of rock. It's a shocking case of somebody's transaction being set in stone. Researchers discovered the proof of purchase on Pilgrimage Road in the city of David. It was found during the excavation of a tunnel dug by the British in the 19th century. The relic dates back to the days of Jesus, maybe even written when Jesus was still alive. Romans occupied the region, and Jerusalem was on the brink of change. The receipt itself is very simple. Inscribed upon the stone are seven preserved lines of Hebrew texts and numbers. It's a list of payments made to different people in the city. Archaeologists think the list was made by someone working in the commercial sector. It could have been a receipt or a payment instruction. This person, identity unknown, was paying a variety of people for their work or services. He may have been part of a commercial building project, but it's still unclear. What is clear is that even 2,000 years ago, people needed to keep track of their spending. Carving the transaction in stone must have seemed like the best way to do it. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what topics you'd like to see in the comments below. See you next time! Bye!